Greetings and welcome back. We are playing Distant Worlds Universe. So before I started up the recording, I went through and I did some tax adjustments. Uh, I haven't actually let the game progress enough for them to take effect yet, so we'll just see how we made out. I put Homeworld up uh, 10%. Uh, it was 40, so we're now at 50, and I put these three to 10% as well. Uh, it's not heavy taxing, and it's probably not going to get us much, but it'll get us a little bit anyways. So uh, it'll probably maintain some growth as well. So I got those three. This one's a bit small yet. I didn't bother doing that one at all. Uh, we'll let that grow. It's only 1% anyway, so um, we'll let that go. I also uh, came into Homeworld. Remember, we built three defensive bases here. Uh, I've, I've ditched one of them. I deleted one of them. So that's going to save us about five grand in cash flow right there. So I still have two, one on each side here. You can't see them, but there's one there and there's one up there. And there's one out here that I got rid of. And I also went through all my sh uh, military ships. Well, not all of them, but I went through and uh, picked out the uh, the ones we've been capturing that I haven't actually uh, been doing anything with. They were still automated doing whatever. Uh, some of them were pretty low-end designs that were costing us uh, 500 maintenance each to have. So I got rid of a bunch of those. Uh, beyond that, I didn't do much else with the uh, money, so I'm just going to let the game progress and just see how we ended up here. I didn't want to let the game progress too much while I was doing that, so in case we missed a bunch of stuff, and there was some battles going on. And we aborted that ship now. Yeah. Rampage of the Vest Thespis Gang. <laughs> okay, so what's, uh, oops, what's this one all about? Yeah, a bunch of these ones I captured weren't very, weren't very good designs, so I uh, just basically uh, scrapped them. And this has a bit of advanced tech. Uh, we don't have shockwave torpedoes yet. Um, okay, well, maybe we'll uh, just send that one for retiring. Get that tech bonus. Okay, so we'll do that. And I wish that money would flip quick so I can go on to talk about other things. Hurry up. Oh, I wonder we're at uh, 0.5 speed here. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I managed to fix our cash flow a bit. Uh, we're still not great by any means, but at least get us some uh, money ahead maybe. And one thing I was going to do is take another tour through everybody here, and I did not do that. I meant to do that before I started up. So maybe what I'll do is I'll pause the recording and maybe just take a tour through there. Okay, so I went through everybody. Uh, most most of these guys don't have any money. Uh, a couple did. Tekans had a fair bit, uh, like 300 grand or something. So I actually sold them uh, my Galaxy map. Probably not the best decision, but it was the only thing I had of uh, any real value to get that kind of cash. Uh, somebody else had a couple hundred thousand too. I forget who it was. It was the Boscarns. Again, I gave them my Galaxy map to get that. Uh, I wasn't too interested in uh, giving away too much tech. And there's a couple of 50,000s when I first got started up here that I think I gave away like uh, enhanced commerce or something for. So let's go see what that kind of difference that made. And there we go. We got some money to spend. Woo. Okay. Now um, let's go through some comments here. Um, okay. Yes. The first one and about three or four people mentioned this is I put uh, transports in my bombarding fleet instead of the... Uh, U-boats that I was fully intending to put in. So I got to correct that. So we'll come into fish, uh, ships and bases. And we'll come to the bottom. And oops. Let's go to military first. And we'll come to the bottom. And there they are here. So all I'm going to do with these is I'm going to need them anyways. Uh, they're troop transports, not bombarding ships. I'm going to need them anyways. Um, actually, maybe before I do this, I'll actually go build the other ones. Uh, construction yards and then I don't have to reestablish this fleet so what I want is the u-boats six of those actually could almost go a bit better than six now but I think six will probably be enough uh, I'm gonna take a support fleet with this and um, they'll just their j only job will be to bombard that uh, diute planet so we'll do that and then we'll come into military ships and we will put these in the bombarding fleet and then we'll take these and we'll put those in my invasion fleet. There. All sorted out. So I definitely have destroyers this time. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I was going to get far with those uh, transports, that's for sure. 
Okay, so next on the list, uh, somebody pointed out my escort designs because they have assault pods on them. And uh, just edit this. Uh, that it might the the assault pods might not work because of this invasion setting. Uh, I never stopped to consider that that might be an issue. So I think we'll uh, just invade immediately, and we'll see if that helps. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, did I take? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is the exploration ship. Ugh. Uh, I'm messing myself up here. There we go. This one. Edit. Okay. There we go. Uh, there's. Yeah, okay. Uh, sort by name, sort by category. Yeah, I got one assault pod on these. I might be taking that off in the next design. Uh, I sort of did it as an alternative to have modules for boarding defense. But uh, whether it's optimal to have these on here, I don't know. It was, I was kind of iffy on that anyways. But somebody did bring up that because it's set to new, do not invade, that we need to invade, invade immediately for these to actually function properly. I'm not sure on that, but it is a good point, so we'll do that. Okay, and somebody mentioned that we need to get over this debris field, wherever that went. Uh, I've lost track of it again. Uh, I think it was sort of in the corner, up in the, one of these corners here. I have lost track of it. Oh, there it is there. There it is, I think. It's, it's coming up in the uh, special locations now. Yeah, there it is. So I'm pretty. Ooh, sloopins are already on it. They're probably heading right there to scare off that. We can't see it right now to scare off that uh, pirate construction ship we saw in there earlier. Interesting. Okay, I was going to just send like maybe one escort over to scare away that construction ship, but it looks like they're going to do it anyways. But they're probably going to be sending their own construction ships up here. So I'm hoping maybe they'll stick around there. I'll send a couple of my own constructions in there. And actually what I might do is queue that up right now. Even if I bring one or two over, that'll be fine. So let's move over here. And then we'll see what's up when we get there. Yeah, we'll just bring a couple over. They're not doing anything anyways. So. so bring a couple over. Maybe we can at least get started or do something in there. And then we'll, uh, we'll assess it further from that. Now, um, next up is we're going to be uh, bombarding this planet. So that's going to actually d uh, start uh, hurting the planet uh, ecologically. So uh, in order to keep uh, the uh, eco damage at bay, or at least repair from it, we need to get into <laughs> like one of these. These, con uh, you know, these contain uh, terraforming facilities. But wow, that's a little ways down the road. I could get in there. Oh, I have to get this first, though. Um, I might forget enhanced transport for the moment because I, I have got a ton of transport ships now. Um, oh, I want that, too. I think I'm still spying to get the other half of that. So one, two, three. Okay, so we'll do it that way. Yeah, and that'll give us that uh, facility. So once we're done uh, bombarding, we can actually repair the planet and get the quality back up. Okay, I think I'll actually just quickly rush that while I'm in here. Okay, uh, and also my first assault fleet. Let's just have a look at this. Um, our fleet admiral is on a escort in here, I think. Yeah, he's on one of the protectors in this uh, fleet. And that's probably not the best place for him. Um, somebody suggested maybe putting him on one of the carriers. Uh, 960 shields. He's set to evade. Um, so if I make... Uh, um, I could transfer him onto here. Like I said, 960 shields. He is set to evade, so he's, gonna, he's not going to get into too much trouble. Uh, also, what I could do is actually bring one of my big uh, ships in, like one of my capital ships that I uh, captured, which is a good idea as well. So let's just go to military. We'll sort by roll. And I've only got the one, and it's in the Freedom Fleet right now. And I kind of need it there. So what do we have for cruisers then? i got two cruisers. 
650 shields. Let's just look at the design here. Phaser lances. 650 shields. Um, I could set that for evade as well. I'm almost thinking the carrier is a better choice. I don't think I have anything like I'd kind of like to be closer to like a thousand shields if I can get it. So what I might do. Uh, okay, just gonna resort here. What I might do is just put them on a uh, carrier for now. So back to the first assault, and I'll just pick this one, I guess. Uh, this will be terrible surprise. So we'll reassign my fleet admiral to terrible surprise. Oops. Okay, how do we do that? I don't want to put them on a specific ship. Hmm. That's uh, now. I think we can make that our lead ship. Terrible surprise. Make lead ship for first assault. Ah, oh, transfer character to terrible. Okay. Uh, I just got to figure out what uh, my fleet admiral's called. I think I only got the one, so this should be easy. Uh, fleet admiral, fleet admiral. I'm not seeing him here. Troop general. Oh, there he is. Fleet admiral. Okay, there we go. I've never really uh, flipped them around from. Uh, there we go. So now he's on the carrier. Okay, it's probably a little bit better place for him. Okay. Uh, somebody also suggested uh, to help our ships out would be to. Uh, Research better armor, which we're almost in the middle of here. I am doing logistics right now. How much to actually rush that? I think I might do that. That'll help our economy in the long run, too. That'll give us 30% off our troop maintenance. So I'm going to rush that. Okay, and when we're done that, we're going to come over and get high-density alloys after that. And it's half done already, so that's perfect. Uh, one other thing we should get is a uh, fortified bunker for our planets, too. Um, I'll come back and assess that in a bit. Uh, I'll actually queue it up right now. Um, but I just want to see if there's something else we should be getting here, maybe. Uh, don't mind improving area weapons and stuff. But maybe I'll come back and assess that in a bit, but we'll get it queued up anyway. Um, somebody also mentioned that the Freedom Fleet picked up troops. One infantry. Eh, I'm not going to worry about that. I could I could get him to drop that uh, troop on the planet here. I might actually get to maybe do that. And you guys aren't doing much anyways, so yeah, we'll just drop that one troop here, and that'll help out with that uh, defense in there. Okay, and one thing I think I noticed while I was booting around doing my adjustments and everything was we're short a research station, a high tech one to be specific. Yes, I think one got destroyed here. It's because we're really low on the high tech right now. Uh, our potential is still pretty low here too. Um, I think the only thing that's going to actually bring that up is more population. So invading that Diute planet will probably help that number out. Uh, we're way beyond potential here. So I could rebuild that right now. I think I will just to sort of even these numbers out. I do want to get into the high tech a little more. And I think we're building... Yes, we are building the Rusun technology installation, 75% done. So that'll give us a good boost to actually high tech. Maybe I won't worry about rebuilding that station then. We'll just see what that uh, wonder is going to give us when we get here. And we'll take note if that actually increases our potential. I don't think it does, but we'll just uh, keep an eye on that. Okay, so um, I guess that's it for my notes. I think we can actually fire this thing up again, but let's uh, just take a look at where all my fleets are at the moment. You are repairing, yep. Okay, and you are repairing. Looks like you're pretty much done. You just got to refuel. Uh, second assault's down there protecting. Um, now, uh, there's a point brought up about why my uh, first assault fleet was running away to go do stuff instead of protecting. Well, number one, it was damaged, so its first reaction is to go repair itself. And number two, it was probably low on fuel, which means it came up there as well, because there's no fuel in here, although there is now. 
So establishing fuel and uh, a spaceport for when you're automating these fleets is probably quite important. However, what we should be able to do, um, I will rebase them here though. But whether I'm going to automate them, I don't know. Uh, we'll just move to the planet, just sort of hug that planet for now. And that's this planet up here. Okay, that raid didn't last long. Yeah, they're trying again, but good luck with that, guys. i got a ton of troops up there, which are going to be going away soon. Okay. Oh, and I just see another beacon down here. So let's see what we got for... Uh, yeah, we got one right there. So let's bring you down to that system, and we'll see what's in there. Okay, um... Now, my long-range scanner should be giving me all kinds of information about this place. I should be able to see troops and everything, I would think. So let's just have a quick look here. Whoa, we got a lot of stuff. Lots of freighters. Yeah, it's right off the screen here. Uh, <laughs> frigates, destroyers, they don't got much military sitting around their home world. It looks like they're just building it, actually. Uh, they got a base, and let's just select the planet. That's the reason I came in here. 992. So they haven't actually gone up in the last little while, I don't think. I think they've always been hovering, hovering around 900 there. So we got this to take out. We got a large spaceport. I'm assuming it's a large. Yep. So we're going to need a bit of firepower in here. There's 4,680 shields on this thing. Uh, building got 44 weight. They're pretty backlogged right now. I wonder if they're not experiencing uh, resource shortages. That would be nice. I don't think there's a way for me to tell that. But we'll uh, look at that. Now I just got to figure out how many uh, troops I actually have here. I got 639 sitting there. Oops. And I got 817 here. Ish. Yeah, I'm just going by approximation. So we definitely got more troops than they do. Uh, not Certainly not the triple number that I usually <laughs> shoot for when doing invasions. But we'll see how this bombardment fleet does. And, um, Sort of keep an eye on. I'm going to bookmark that with, I don't know, Control 5, I guess. Okay, so we'll carry on. Wow, 10 seconds passed and we didn't get attacked. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, shield reinforcement. Okay, good. And we now have better reactors. So, shield reinforcement. Gives us oh, an improvement to our existing shields. Perfect. Okay, so our shielding just got a bit better. And how's our intelligence agent doing? And he's back, of course. So, uh, did you... I thought... Hang on. Did he uh, not succeed last time? Uh, hang on. Just maybe we'll check on that. Uh... What was I sending him for? Coordinated docking, I th no. I forget what I was sending him for. I forget, I'm gonna have to go look at the log, I guess. Um, agent returns, where are we here? Agent fails, oh, I did fail. But he evaded detection, so we're not gonna cause any problems. So they do fail a bit, even at 90%. Well, I think I'll scrap that. I can probably research that fairly quickly myself. I'm not going to put that as a priority again. Uh, we'll keep going with those guys, though. Uh, research. Now, um, high-density alloys. But we have to retrofit to utilize those. Uh, is there anything that'll just give us an improvement right away? Super beam weapons. Uh, efficient... Enhanced damage control would be helpful, I think. 
I might have to take a couple runs at that though, but definitely go for that in three months. Okay, so we'll sign that. Now, I don't know whether picking on the same empire might uh, decrease your chances over time. I don't think I've come across that. But if he fails again, we'll move on to a different empire. And what else is going on out here? Uh, right there, okay. Okay, I think we'll slow down again. Oop, just uh, 0.5 will be fine. And we'll see how this is going. Ooh, you're out of fuel. That's still building. Okay, well, hopefully somebody will come over and help him out. I guess not. No hyperdrive. Oh, you're damaged. You're heading for repair. Uh-oh. Okay. And I just noticed these guys aren't doing a damn thing because they're not automated. So, I'll just take the matters into my own hands here. What, uh... Hmm. Cube has been colonized, finally! No more destroying of that uh, mining station. Okay, so, uh, first assault. First assault? Oh, I got that clip. Oh, no. Okay, I didn't give it an order, I don't think. Thought maybe I gave it an order to come and attack that, but it was definitely this fleet, wasn't it? Yep. Oh, I know why. That ship that's being attacked is part of the first fleet, this one. Ah, I see. Well, we'll leave the first assault. And you can join the second assault. There. Kill them! Okay. Okay, and we'll go up to this place, see what this is doing. Okay, no problem. And since we got this fleet here, I think I might attempt a spaceport if I can. Uh, what's our uh, resources? Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, that's uh, that's just stuff that's spoken for. Here's my supply here. Uh, yeah, that's pretty scary. This place has been heavily raided. There's not much left. Uh, it's a fair bit of. St no, you know what? I'm just gonna do it anyways. Uh, you got to do it while that uh, fleet's in that spot. So we'll just try a small one. I don't want to go too crazy here. So we'll try that, and hopefully these guys will protect that. Okay, so hopefully I'm going to leave it off automation for now, just so they don't get funky and decide to go refuel somewhere. Yeah, there's no fuel in here either. Uh, how much you got left? A little bit. Okay, well... Let's find our resupply ships and do something with them. I think I had one going somewhere, didn't I? I don't recall. Uh, you're... No, nope, they're both right there. Now, do they need to be retrofitted? Mark 8. Mark 8, perfect. So they're both available. So select this one. And hopefully there's a fuel... Source of fuel in here somewhere. No. 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 Oh, that's right. I think I've looked at this before and I sent... I thought there was a nearby system with fuel in it here somewhere. Or was it a gas? It might have been a gas cloud. This one. 
That's hydrogen, though. Oh, uh, nothing there. There's no fuel in the area. Probably just there. That's not going to be good if they run in there to refuel. Okay, there's some fuel in there. It's probably taken already, though. Nope. Okay. Uh, let's find my supply ship again. Deploy there. And yeah, we'll see what that does. Um, doesn't look like there's anything in here, so hopefully we can get in there. And at least that's a, something of a closer spot. I'm hoping without this fleet automated, they'll just sort of sit at that planet and not burn fuel. Um, some of these ships might not have. Okay, you got uh, sufficient energy collection, but some of those, uh, I'm just going to pause for a sec, some of these uh, alien ships might be a bit lacking. Yeah, so that one's going to burn fuel. So there is going to be some fuel burning. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, we'll let it go. So, I need to spend some of this money. Um, how's our troops coming? I'm not even sure what I got in here now. Um, still building. War swarms. What are warms? Okay, those are infantry. Um... Zerine Raiders, Special Forces. So the Raiders are the Special Forces. I know I built some of those here. Yep. Actually, I built a fair few of them. So if anything, I would say we need more armor. So let's just build a few more armor here. Okay. I'll throw a few more infantry there, too. I know it's a big expense, but we're going to, hopefully it'll pay off. I think I saw 10 billion people on this planet. Uh, 12 billion. Okay. Ooh, and there's a scenery bonus here too. Okay, well hopefully their economy is sucking and we can uh, swoop in and just grab them. So I got to think about this place. We're going to be pulling troops off of here. And I think I only got a few garrison, but that's probably fine. Uh, what I might do, I'm not sure what the cost of them are. I can't build them here any Oh, yes, I can. Is build like one of these at each planet. They're expensive, though. That's the only problem. But I'm thinking with three and one planetary defense, we should be all right. So we'll build one for sure. And I should almost build one on my home world too. Ah, maybe I should just bite the. Ooh, I got no troops on this place. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> oh man, they must have got wiped out at some point. Okay, well, one, two, three, and we'll put a planetary defense on there too. Garrison all those. Well, I wasn't aware that I was out of troops there. And it's been recently raided, yeah, so they've uh, broken through. Okay, and... Uh, yeah, I'll throw one here too. Even if it's just one on each planet, that's fine. Uh, they're pretty tough. Okay, and we got one there. We just settled this place, so... And if I need to recover some cash, you know, I can maybe get rid of those in the spots that they really aren't needed. Okay, so how's that looking? Uh, we've got for, okay, three and one, so we'll garrison you. And we'll garrison you. You've only got, okay, we'll garrison a couple more of those. We'll garrison you. I mean, we'll free up a couple of these. 
I'll have to go through and find out what uh, the better troops are. Maybe these are just crappy troops. Uh, attack strength 267. Am I seeing that right? Okay, we'll have to come into the troop screen and have a look. Just want to make sure we got all our ducks in a row here. Uh, did I put one here? Yes, I did. So garrison that one. Okay, that should be fine. Let's just come in here for a sec. Um, okay, those are all the ones we just built or are building. Okay, well, I'll leave that for now. And we'll carry on. Now, ships. That's what I need to do is look at some ships. Um, first assault. What we got in here? We got uh, destroyers, frigates, more destroyers, more frigates, escorts. I wouldn't mind getting the escorts out of here. Replace them with something else. We got one, two, three, four. We got six escorts in here. And what do we got for designs? The cruisers. I mean, we'll throw a bunch of cruisers in there. Replace those uh, escorts with cruisers. A quick look at the design here before we do that. Yeah, 870. Okay. Uh, ion cannons on this one. Okay, we'll go with that. We'll uh, replace those six. And cruisers. Okay, come to military. We will sort by fleet this time. And we'll come to first assault. There we go. Actually, I should have put those other ones in first. Okay, well, anyways, we'll get rid of the uh, escorts in here. There's six of them, right? Yeah, there's the other one. Okay, I'll just set those to none. And we'll just put those back on escort duty. Okay. And then we'll uh, actually just got to resort and then come back. Just so all my newly built are at the bottom. There we go. And we'll throw those in the first assault. Okay, so that gets those out of there. That'll increase our firepower just a little bit. Get some ions in the mix too to disable some uh, weapons and stuff. Now, uh, yes, why aren't you guys refueling? Oh, why are you going there for fuel? Uh, not a big deal. I got to come out this way anyway, so I guess I'll just let them go. But does that mean we're short on fuel at Homeworld? That's almost what that's sounding like. Yep. Okay, that's a problem. Okay, well, that's fine. Off you go. And maybe as the next mission... Actually, no. Um, I'll refuel first, and then I'll come over. And we'll grab up all those troops, and we'll come back. We'll grab up those, and I think our bombard fleet should be finished. Yeah, no fuel again. Oh. Okay. I do have a second uh, resupply ship here, which will help this effort. And we'll select that one. And we'll come in here and we'll find a gas giant to stick him on. And where is our fuel source in here? That will do. So, deploy. That'll help out the fuel situation, hopefully. Uh, whether the automated ships will recognize that as a fuel source, I'm not sure, but at least I can bring my bombard fleet over and get that fueled up, that sort of thing. Okay, that's it there again. Okay. Oh. Uh, we received research uh, in what?
Singulary, single layer planetary defense from this is what? What tech is what tech is that down here? Uh, oh, here we go. Ooh, so those defensive units are going to be even better now. Excellent. Okay. Carry on. And I just noticed we're at 35 minutes. So I think I'll uh, bring this one to a close here shortly. I'm just kind of waiting for that. Uh, Rusan Technology 94% done. I guess that'll be next episode then. But at least we got a bit of cash flow and some money happening now. So we can maybe uh, get this... Uh, little operation here underway yes uh, it seems to be getting a bit quieter out here doesn't it oh me and my big mouth okay so deadly plague strikes uh, at that at um which which planet is that Uh, let me see over here. Nope, it's this one. It's not that one, it must be this one over here. Oh, what system is that? That's down here, I think. Yeah, I can't see, but anyway, so we'll go check that in a minute. Okay. In here. I think. Yep. So, uh, what you can do, yeah, there's infected with uh, that virus. Yeah, do not accept. So, if you have a, a, uh, an infection, you can put your population policy to do not accept, and that will actually uh, stop them from coming. And this was already on it. Uh, does uh, apparently from what I read it does help with the uh, spread of the virus uh, it keeps it uh, contained a little better but uh, I think because this is out by itself and uh, I don't think we're gonna have much problem with that spreading too far hopefully so I think we'll just end the episode here since I have it paused anyways um, so we got a few things underway and like I said it is almost seeming a bit quieter out here suddenly I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but uh, I'll have to come through and do another scan of the pirates here. Make sure nobody has a planet destroyer. But, uh, that'll be a bit of an ish, a bit of a process to go through. They got twelve thousand firepower. Yeah, Just making, yeah. So none of them are. I see a couple that are sort of up there in firepower, but uh, yeah, this one has one ship left. So I think it's getting to the point where the empires are getting strong enough that everybody's starting to fight them back now. Ooh, 16,000. Look at these guys. They're everywhere. Down here, up in here, over here. Yeah, that's one of the ones in my system, my area here. So we'll be uh, doing something against them. 401. They're not very pleased with us. <laughs> okay, just uh, might as well check the last few here. So some 12,000. Ooh, 23,000 there. It's almost getting to the point where it's going to be tough to tell if they have a planet destroyer. Because their own uh, natural firepower might actually exceed that. So, I'm not seeing anything totally outrageous. 19,000, 19,000, 28,000. Ooh, 500 ships. Wow. That's incredible. Okay, so it doesn't look like anybody has a planet destroyer, at least to the best of my knowledge. Okay, so we'll just have a quick wander through here again. Uh, I'm not going to go through that. I'm pretty sure nothing much has changed. Yeah, probably nothing much has changed at all in here. Yeah, where are the... Yeah, they're way down here. So we're about twice the strength they are, I would say. Ish. Maybe maybe a little less than twice. twice. But we'll get them. We'll uh, definitely get that going soon. If I wait too much longer, then they're just going to get uh, more and more powerful. So we've got to do this as soon as we can. And we'll just whip in here quickly and have another quick look. I don't think my ship count's gone up much. Okay, so that's it for today. If you're still with me, thanks for joining me, and we'll catch you next time.